Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be talking about this situation. If mods do get rejected completely by Sony, what mod-like options are available for Bethesda to allow PlayStation users a similar experience that the PC and Xbox One users have with Fallout 4 and Skyrim Remastered? Now I've thought up a couple of ideas of my own that are completely rational in both a game developer's and player's point of view. Again, these three options are completely my own opinion and if you do disagree with them then feel free to, you know? But these are definitely, definitely plausible and they should only be really thought about if mods do get 100% rejected on Fallout 4 and Skyrim Remastered for the PlayStation 4. Okay, so let's start off with the first kind of idea and we have console commands. Now, I'm starting off with this one because I know a lot of PC users who are watching this video may be saying to themselves right now, well, console commands cannot actually work on console. Well, no, that is not true at all because at the start of this year, we had the developers over at Arc Survival Evolved implement console commands to the Xbox One. Now what was impressive about this is that this game is actually in a beta stage, you know, it actually isn't complete and the fact that they did this in only one update was absolutely amazing. Now when they did this, I tried it out on my Xbox One and I have to say it worked absolutely perfect, there was no problems whatsoever and I was very impressed with how they actually implemented this in one update with no kind of problems whatsoever and not only me but my friends actually tried this out for themselves and we can both honestly say that the console command implementation to this game was perfect it worked superb now bethesda said early this year that they don't even like console commands being on the pc and the fact that they would probably never bring it to the consoles as it can break your game Honestly, to that, I say slap a disclaimer on the load screen and let people who know what they're doing get on with it. It's like saying, you know, you can't always breastfeed your children and even if you do, you'll look pretty weird with your tit hanging through the school gate whilst everyone watches, you know? This, this pretty much applies to Bethesda right now. Okay, moving on to idea number two, we have free DLC style mods. Now this option is a little bit tricky, so basically what it means is that Bethesda would upload free DLC to the PlayStation Network Store. That added in popular mods such as the Settlement Object Expansion Pack, the Alien Assault Rifle and so on. Now firstly, to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure that Bethesda technically owns all mods created for their games, and if so, then they can probably use them without the mod author's consent, but if not, then that is going to be their first problem, actually having the mod authors agree that they can be used as free DLC. Now if that isn't the problem, then that's half the battle fought. Now, there is the problem of having mods not being compatible with the PlayStation system. Now, as most of you know, the PlayStation and the Creation Kit files were having compatibility issues from the get-go, and for all we know, they still could be having them right now. Now, I'm not sure if Bethesda themselves could bypass these problems themselves without the Creation Kit, but if they could, then this option really isn't that bad. And lastly, we have option number three. So, similar to the free DLC style mods option, we have a free DLC update patch. So what this could be is an optional update for the game, meaning that people have the choice to apply it or not to apply it. Now this update would add a few mod-like features into the game, such as the developer's room. Now instead of having this room just be the regular dev room, where you could pretty much get any weapon, armor or items, it would actually include buttons that you can press. Now each of these buttons would be very different and they would do different things, such as unlimited health for one button, press another button you would get unlimited vats, another button would give you super jump and so on. Now of course these really aren't mods, if anything they're more like cheats and maybe just a backup in case console command support doesn't work. Some of you are probably thinking, well that's pretty stupid to implement that idea. Well no, it really isn't. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but surely some people would love this in their game. And to be honest, if you are a PlayStation 4 user at the minute, I would take whatever I could get from Sony and Bethesda. 
Now, like I said at the start of this option, if you do feel that it is too law breaking or it isn't your cup of tea, then remember this is a DLC styled download. So, you know, you do have the option to download it and implement it to your game, or you have the option to just completely ignore it and go along with the base game. So there you have it people, personally that is my top 3 things I feel that Bethesda could do if console mods do get 100% rejected by Sony. Hopefully that isn't the case and that you guys on PlayStation will be able to enjoy what PlayStation or Xbox even and PC people have been enjoying for quite some time now Honestly, I do wish Sony and Bethesda the best of luck with you know figuring this thing out And I really do hope that it does get implemented Anyway guys if you think that you enjoyed this video or you think that my ideas were pretty much plausible and that they could work Then please remember to leave a like on this video and until next time I've been Star Lord I'll see ya